Sandwiched between Mazeroski Way and the Roberto Clemente Bridge, welcome to PNC Park. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Cincinnati Reds going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. What's the word on him? Well, what quickly stands out to me for this guy is that he comes in with a 3-1 to one strikeout to walk ratio on the season. So when you consider consistency, the ability to get swings and misses, and to limit base runners, that's critical in winning games today, especially when teams are depending on the big swing, the home run, to win ball games. Ready to go now? Here's the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. 0 and 1. First pitch, 1235. Next offering yeah. is down low. The 1 1 is fouled off. That one down the line. Loves it on the dive. The throw. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Well, that one right there had the looks of one of those plays of the week. Great diving stop, but he just couldn't set up to make a good throw. Maybe got a little too excited. He was probably feeling it as well, but either way, that's a tough play and a tough error. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. No. Just and missed. Left. Righty delivers. This one chopped in the ground, but foul. One one now. The shortstop takes the ball. This one lifted in the air, left field, in and to his right. Drops into the glove. Here's the lineup for the Reds. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Now batting Jamer Candelario. This one rip, but foul to the right. Friedel over at first with one away. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Tag. Save. Grandal's throw not in time. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one. So that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. And it's second. Oh, that's up there. Swung on, belted. Taylor on the move, racing back. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And they'll score first. It's one zip. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bad path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. One out. Runner at second. Next is the speedy first baseman, Spencer Steer. Hey. 
right through there for a strike. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Called strike right there. Not close with that one, and that's ball one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. The pitch. And downstairs. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, pros him for strike three. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's the bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. In the air, left field. Sawinski coming on. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that'll do it. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at PNC Park and pitching in this game, Nick Lodolo. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Key Brian Hayes. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And the pitch. Just missed. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Just missed. And that one a little bit high. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Ryan Reynolds in the on deck circle. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. No outs. Runner at first. Ryan Reynolds here. In there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering upstairs. One and one. Outside. The pitch. This one in the air right field. He's got it. That is third. Not shortstop. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. They're already down a run, so I'm sure they'd like to punch back and even things up early. Yeah, it's never a good feeling, especially at your home ballpark, to go down in the first inning. So the best way is just to come out aggressive, try to tie the ball game up, but not just tie it up, take the lead. I tell you what, momentum can really swing, and you can put your pitcher back oh, in a position back. where he feels his most confident. O'Neill Cruz at the plate now, and that's inside. Hayes, the base runner at first with one out. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Now snap throw to first. Hayes back on a dive. 
I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score on a ball in the gap. Got him swinging. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Edward Olivares. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he deals. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Two outs. That one fouled hard the other way. Here's a one two. Fouls it back with two strikes. The one two. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string of the changeup. So one left for Pittsburgh. They trail here, one nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, and now Tyler Stevenson. Keller, the 6-2 righty, 220 pounds, and he was a second-round pick back in 2014 as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm oh. delivers and a good eye there hey. and that's in for a strike Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league he's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there and that can be a huge compliment really so if you're just kind of quietly doing your job staying consistent with your calls hitters pitchers managers even fans they're all going to appreciate you Ed Drummond he's that kind of umpire the one two that one is upstairs what about an umpire's height how much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder. That yes, one off the mark. Out. And that is ball one. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, That's hometowns, true. and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Bounce to the right, and that one handled. Gets it to first. It. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense the work base. behind him with another ground Jonathan ball. Good execution. India. Two outs, base is empty. Jonathan India at the plate. And that one a little below the knees, and it's one and oh. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one, ball, one strike. Got Ooh. it by him for the K. Reds down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Second. Here's Rowdy Tellez. 
the first baseman. The wind of the pitch. And that one is in for a strike. And that's outside. And one and one. And this is inside. Way out front for strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got him. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Now it's the second baseman. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. He was late there. Strike one. Bounced up the middle. De La Cruz. On to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Well, I believe we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Now the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. First oh, offering, and it just misses. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Foul ball there. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And the Pirates go one, two, three. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. And we're back on to the third inning. Now it's the right fielder, Will Benson. Keller back to work. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's into second with nobody out. Throw is high and over his head. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. So the lineup flips over. And now the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. Line drive. Caught. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. He's 0 for 1. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Sawinski moving back for this one. He's got it. Runner tags at second and he's up to third safely with two gone. Jamer Candelario, the next to hit for the Reds, doubled in his first A.B. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. A one down. Fought off foul. A 95 to finish him off. So one left for Cincinnati. They lead it 1 0. As we go to the last of the third, now here is Yasmani Grandal. The pitch. And there's the strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Out towards left center. Friedel sizes this one up. 
And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Michael A. Taylor, the next Pirate to hit. Fastball for a strike. On one. It's in and out of his glove, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So the Pirates' batting order turns over, and now the Pirates' leadoff man, Key Brian Hayes, walked to open the ball game. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Sanker catches the zone at the knees. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Looking to get the tying run on base. Right side. Benson settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. And that is the inning. Welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Spencer Steer. The pitch. There's the strike. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. And that one in the air center field. Makes the grab one away. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. Fly to left his first time. Bunting for a hit, and it goes just foul. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Sawinski makes the grab. Two down. Two outs, space is empty. And here is Tyler Stevenson. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. And they add to their lead. It's 2 nothing. A little more breathing room is always a good thing in baseball, and now they have it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's the left fielder. 0 for 1 so far. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. Now the tag is second, and he's out, trying for two. A long throw, and that's the third out. Back here at PNC Park, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Brian Reynolds. As the lefty gets to work. Fouled off. He was late. You know, these Pirates, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? 
We'll see, but I think they have to. 0-2 oh now. Goes down looking. Away, away, away. And clearly that was the plan right there. He just wasn't able to put it in play. And that should tell you something as a hitter. Sometimes you're a little too conscious of the inside pitch and you're not able to cover that outside part of the plate. So clearly some adjustments to be made next time. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Went down on strikes his first time through. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Ball one. The Pirates yet to pick up a hit here. And it is two and one. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Swings and misses. Had him way out front of the slur. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Up next for the Pirates, Edward Olivares. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Two down, nobody on. Outside low, and it's one and one. Swings through that. One ball, two strikes. And down on strikes he goes. Picks up strikeout number seven. Down in order go the Pirates. They're still down. It's two zip. Set for the start of the inning. And now, Jonathan India. Jonathan India. The wind of the pitch. That Aye. one finds the zone. And that is strike one. And a foul ball. Strikes. One down. And now the right fielder, Will Benson, doubled his first time up. Inside, just missed. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. There's a strike. And oh. another ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Hey. Takes the corner. That is strike two. Three. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two gone now. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Stepping in, T.J. Friedel. Just missed. Counts one and oh. Two out spaces empty. That Aye. clips the zone. And the count even one and one. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. The 
the one two. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. That's a really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability. Oh, that pitch got away from him, and that's a hit by pitch. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. And that one wrapped foul. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. Inside almost got him. Friedel at second with two down. Got him. Out number three. Reds leave one as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Rowdy Telez. And a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. You know, these Pirates just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Left-hand hitter waits. Ripped on the ground a second. India over to first in time. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now back, second baseman. Here's the second baseman. He's 0 for 1. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Fastball for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Swings through that one for strike two. The Reds up by two. Last half of inning number five. And now one and two. One down, base is empty. On the ground to the left. Candelario on the first. Home half of the fifth now inning, back. moving along two no quick outs. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Swing and a miss, strike one. The baseball's coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. One strike away. Swing and bless one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that'll do it. Well, low scoring ball game in this one. Two nothing game, few errors, pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. Two nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.